slope as a proportion. So if we look at slope as a proportion, a proportional relationship exists between two quantities if they vary directly with one each another. This is called direct variation. And a proportional relationship forms the equation y equals mx, where m is the slope, and the line always goes through the origin, 0, 0. The slope m is called unit rate, rate of change, direct variation, or constant of proportionality, and these are used pretty interchangeably. Unit rate would be a little bit more specific, wanting how much for one, but you'll see um, constant proportionality used um, when we're really talking about the tilt or slant of a line like with slope. It's just constant proportionality has the additional qualification that you're going through the origin at zero, zero. So let's look at an example of proportionality. We have the example of gallon, gasoline costs $4.24 a gallon, and that changes every day. It could be much higher or much lower at this time. So if we looked at one gallon, and we're filling in our table, and we want to look at this as a table, we want to look at it as an equation, and we want to look at proportionality as a graph. So if I look at it on the table, one gallon, $4.24, two gallons, $8.48, three gallons, $12.72, and zero gallons, zero dollars. And with proportional relationships, we should have a point at zero, zero going through the origin, and that makes sense that zero gallons would not cost us any money. If we look at this as the equation in the form y equals mx, this m is how much for one, in this case, the unit rate of $4.24. We can also see it as a fraction, um, comparing our change in y to change in x. So $4.24 is like unit rate. How much for one gallon? Well, one gallon, $4.24. The input into this equation would be the number of gallons of gasoline, and what would come out of the equation, or the y, would be the total cost. So, for example, if we put 2 in for the x, 2 would be the number of gallons of gasoline. 2 times $4.24 would give us $8.48 for the y, the output, or the total cost of our proportion or relationship. And if we drew it as a graph, we could look at our x value of gallons of gasoline, our y as total cost. We're going to have a point at zero, zero, zero gallons of gasoline for zero dollars. One gallon of gasoline for four dollars and 24 cents. And my scale is counting by ones, so we're going to estimate where that point would go between four and five, a little bit closer to four. Two gallons, eight dollars 48 cents. Three gallons, 12.72. And we have a line for our proportional relationship. What is the slope? Well, the slope is at $4.24. Also, the unit rate or constant proportionality is $4.24. Let's look at a new example. Let's say we have five gala apples cost $2. Well, if I fill in my table, five apples, $2. Ten apples, $4. 15 apples, $6. Zero apples, $0. And for my equation, I have y equals 2 fifths. 2 dollars for 5 apples. <coughs> so x would be the number of apples, would be the input, and the output would be the total cost. If we look at a graph, we can do number of apples and cost in dollars. Zero apples, zero dollars. Five apples, two dollars. So if I'm counting by twos, five is going to be halfway between four and six to be two dollars. Ten apples, four dollars. Fifteen apples, six dollars. And makes a graph of our proportional relationship. What is the constant rate of change? Well, the constant rate of change is this two-fifths, or if I put it in my calculator or divided two divided by five, I get 40 cents or 0.4. And if I think about my $2 for five apples, well, $2 for five apples means 40 cents per apple. So my constant rate of change, my slope, my unit rate, how much for one apple is 40 cents. 
All right, you guys can pause the video here. Use Sydney rides your bike for 12 miles per hour. Create a table, equation, and a graph to go with that proportional relationship. All right, welcome back. Let's check and see how you did. So in two hours, if Sydney rides her bike 12 miles per hour, she would have covered 24 miles. That's distance traveled in miles. In five hours, 60 miles traveled. And in 10 hours, 120 miles. At zero for time, she would be at zero miles. If I looked at my equation, well, the equation pretty easy to take from Sydney rides 12 miles per hour. That is a unit rate. That's how much the rate of change is. And it's 12 miles for every one hour. 12 over one would also be a good answer for our equation. If I look at a graph, oh, input wise, we have X is the number of hours riding the bike and Y is the distance traveled. So each time we have a number of hours, we'd multiply by 12 and then that number coming out for the y value would be the distance traveled in miles. And we can make a graph of that. We could do number of hours riding the bike, distance traveled in miles. Remember proportional relationships go through the origin at zero, zero. Zero hours would be zero miles traveled. Two miles at 24. And we're estimating between 20 and 30. We're getting about halfway. 5 miles at 60 and 10 miles at 120 to give us this equation. What is the direct variation? Well, direct variation is like constant rate of change or slope or unit rate. We're still talking about 12. So the graph of a proportional will always be a straight line that passes through the origin. Let's repeat that. The graph of a proportion will be a always be a straight line that passes through the origin. We always want to write slope or the constant ratio in the form y over x, rise over run. So we're always talking about the change in the up or down on the y of the numerator and the change on the x or the change in the run in the denominator. So determine if the graphs below uh, represent a proportional relationship and also describe, are they linear or nonlinear? Well, let's look at this first graph. Is this linear? Does it make a single straight line? Yes, it makes a single straight line. Is it proportional? Yes. Is this one linear? Well, it makes a single straight line, so this one is linear. Is it proportional? No. Well, what makes this one proportional and makes this one not proportional? It has to do with going through the origin. This one goes through zero, zero at the origin here. This one has a y-intercept up here at positive two. That would make it non-proportional. Because the line does not go through the origin. And I hope that helps you guys with proportional relationships and its relationship with slope, equations, tables, and graphs. Have a great day. O-U-T spells out.